Day number two, got up at 4.30 this morning. Uh, we're working in the console. I'll show you what we have so far. Uh, our battery switch is mounted. Um, that's gonna be our main breaker right there. Got a nice cover that Blue Seas makes. Uh, the ACR is mounted. Now we used um, this hydraulic crimper to crimp these big uh, two gauge wire, which is nice. Then we have six gauge going off the battery switch. Uh, and we're gonna go six gauge wire to our fuse panels. I'm still trying to decide on locations for mounting, and I want to take a look at uh, mounting a switch panel as well. For our switch panel, I went to New Wire Marine and ordered this custom made switch panel. Check this out rocker switches with relays in them. Uh, it came pre wired with uh, six foot leads on it, all labeled. Really nice work, and I was able to buy extra labels too, so I could label everything on the other end. Uh, they all have indicator lights. I did not want to go with the ones that light up at night. I thought that would be too bright, and uh, that would kill my night vision. But uh, really impressed with this custom switch panel. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get ready to install this. We have our two templates in place for our dual Solix 16 inch screens, our new wire marine switch panel, and the ICOM VHF radio. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this out now. Quick update, 6.30 in the morning, day number three. But uh, yesterday we did get our Solix Apex 16s in and these really just look awesome. And they fit that dash perfectly. Um, really excited to use these. We got the new wire switch panel in and the Icon BHF radio. We have to caulk that in. And I'm working on the console right now. It's actually starting to look like a boat. So I am going and putting my bus bars, my fuse bar, um, and we're just kind of zip tying stuff up. You see right here, the new wire switch panel, all labeled. This is gonna come out really nice and neat. So we're gonna get back to work. We're making some crimps. Uh, this is six gauge wire. Six gauge comes off the battery switches to the fuse and switch panel. We use two gauge for the battery cables, four gauge for the trolling motor. We're using a hydraulic crimp for these big lugs um, just to get a better crimp. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in my vise. be easier with two people but this will work There's our cable, our lug securely crimped, and we're gonna put some heat shrink over that. Another update, got a lot more wiring done. We wanted to put the battery switch close to the door so it's accessible. There's our main breaker, our fuse panel, um, our bus bar coming off the switch panel, our negative, bus bar right there and we have all our wires going back here there's our acr or automatic charging relay uh, this is really important because it isolates 
the batteries when the engine is off so you never kill your starting battery and it combines them when the engine is over 1500 rpms so you charge your house battery and your starting battery and we put the batteries right there um we obviously we wanted to get them under the deck out of the way but we didn't want them i didn't put them all the way back against the wall because i felt like they would be a little too hard to get to um and now we're getting ready Now we're getting ready to install our Aramar B175 transducer, uh, through-haul deucer that's gonna go in the bilge.